May. The month where everybody loves it, hates it, and is stressed out about it. Hey, what's up guys, it's Tiana, and it's finally May. You know what this means? This means school's coming to an end, and summer's coming soon. But I hate to break it to you guys, we still have, like, five weeks left until the end of the school year. So, you're gonna hate me, and you're gonna love me, and you're gonna be stressed out about me because AP tests and all these other tests for your school subjects, and it's ridiculous. I've come up with some ways to help you guys not be so stressed out about May and to be happy that it's May because summer's coming soon. Alright, so the first thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, summer's so close. I'm just gonna quit uh, working so hard because you know what? It's only like five weeks left. I have good grades in my classes. I can do this. I can, I can just struggle through and not do anything. Wrong. You know what? Those are the moments where you're like, oh crap. Yeah, if I do slip away, then maybe my grades will turn out not as how I want it to be. And then at the end of the year, you're gonna be like, oh crap. Ah! The second thing that happens is for people who are sophomores and above, you know this is true, AP test. And it's really stressful, you know, you're studying the entire course and you have to take a huge, big test that's like three hours based on the whole course that you remember, hoping that you pass it. Oh, but don't take this the wrong way though, because I'm not saying don't take AP classes. Take it if you want them. I'm saying it's really stressful, and the only way to balance that out is start reviewing as earliest as you know when the AP test is. Ah, which is me right now because I'm like, ah. Before you know it, those 20, 30 days are gonna end up to like three, and then you'll be like, Oh my! Lastly, which I think is probably kind of true, maybe not true, but some of you guys are gonna be looking for jobs, internships, just something to do all summer so that you're not completely bored, but you still have freedom and you're making money because you know, we all love money and we all love making it. And then there's gonna be some people who are taking classes to prepare for like the SAT or the ACT or some other ridiculous thing that they're taking like in the school year. And all you gotta do is just stay focused onto what you truly wanna do that summer. Control your life. If you wanna get that internship or you wanna get that job and it has an interview process or some other process of that type, just take deep breaths and be like, okay, you know what? If they don't choose me, then that's their loss because I feel like I could be a great impact on that team. Okay, honestly, sometimes I feel like I shouldn't be making these advice videos because I'm literally like the same age as you guys and you guys are gonna be like, you're stupid, which is kind of chill when it comes to making these videos. But anyways, those are kind of like my little tips and stuff on staying positive about May and summer coming. The people of the world who are watching this video and to myself who is editing this video, stay positive. And if things don't go out right, just be like, you know what, I'm gonna own the next day. But yeah, uh, so if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, please make sure to subscribe to me. Check out my previous videos. And with that said, I love you all. Have a fabulous day. Have a fabulous week. And I'll see all of you guys next week.